Hello everyone, uh, today we'll see how to create this smoke effect that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so open your Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna create a new file. So I'm gonna go to File New. And we'll start with the uh, 3000 width and 2600 in the height and in the resolution 72 and RGB in the color mode. But if you want to print it, of course, you need to go with the SimYK and the uh, 300 in the resolution. Alright, so I'm gonna press OK. Alright, now the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, uh, to open our picture that you want to use. So I'm gonna use the same picture I used. Let's just open it like this and we need to cut it from its background so I'm gonna use the quick selection tool to do this but first I'm gonna uh, uh, make a new level in here and I'm gonna try to uh, uh, darken it a little bit so I'm gonna just put this handle into the right a little bit just like that and this one just to make it easier for the selection to detect all right now i would go to the channel but make sure you select in the the picture in here and i will go to the channel i'm gonna choose this blue channel in here and now we'll go to the quick selection tool and we're gonna try to make a selection like this as you can see it's getting easier to select it this way All right. Now I will uh, go and select RGB in here. I'm gonna just delete this level. All right. Now I'm gonna open the refined edge in here. And I'm gonna check smart radius. I'm gonna try to improve uh, the hair selection in here. Just like so. Alright, I think this will do and I'm gonna uh, output it to the selection itself and I will press OK. Now as you can see we have our selection. Now I'm gonna uh, make a, a layer mask to it just like that and we will have it cut it from its background. Alright, now I will uh, take it and uh, put it in the new file that we created and I will right click and choose convert to smart object. Alright, now we will uh, press Ctrl T. And I will make it a little bit smaller by pressing Shift, Alt, and I think it's around here. All right. All right. And I will right click and choose Flip Horizontal. And I will rotate it a little bit, just like that. All right. And I will press Enter. Now I'm going to change the background. So I will go and choose a Gradient in here. And I will change the gradient to this black to white uh, in here. And I will change the black to a 50% gray. Just like that when you see 50% in here. And I will press OK. And OK. And I'm going to change uh, the style to radio. And I will reverse it. And I will make the scale around 180. And angle 35 angle. And I will press OK. Alright, so I will uh, just delete this one in here and I will go uh, to the layer in here. I'm gonna make a copy of it, so I'm gonna press Ctrl J. I will call this liquify because we're gonna apply a liquify filter uh, to it later and I will just hide it for now. And I will go back to this layer in here and I will apply uh, a black and white adjustment to it. So I will go and choose gradient map and I will uh, clip it to this layer. So I'm gonna press Alt. And as you can see, when I press Alt, this arrow will pop up just like that. And I will just one click and it will clip to this layer. Now we'll go back to adjustments again and I will choose black and white this time. And again, I will clip it by pressing Alt, one click. And I'm gonna change the, uh, the blending mode uh, to soft light. And I will uh, make the opacity around 50%. All right. 
now we'll go uh, back to this layer in here i'm gonna apply a black and a black uh, layer mask to it so i will uh, uh, press alt and one click to this layer mask it will make it black as you can see now we'll go to brushes and i'm gonna choose a, a smoke brush in here uh, you will find this uh, smoke brushes that i will be using for this tutorial down in the link uh, from the description below all right so uh, the trick that i like to use uh, for this is i just double click to this layer mask and i will make uh, the density of it around 70 percent this way i can see where i want to apply my brushes i also like to uh, rotate the canvas by pressing r and rotate it like this as you can see let's make the first brush just right here just like this just like so and I will rotate it again and I'm gonna make it like this this time just like so and I will make the, the canvas like this and I will uh, uh, make the density 100 to see what it will look like i think it looks good let's go back to brush i'm gonna choose a regular brush this time and i'm gonna reveal this part of the face just like that all right i think it looks awesome let's make another last brush just right here us right there now oh, let's see okay all right oh, okay so now i would go to this liquify uh, layer in here and i will make it visible and i will gonna apply the same adjustment that i did for the first layer in here so i will uh, select them both and by pressing alt i can make a copy of them and I'm gonna put them in the top and again I'm gonna clip in uh, clip it to uh, this liquify layer just like that uh, but uh, for this one I'm gonna apply another adjustment to it so I will go and choose uh, levels and I will uh, clip it to uh, this liquify uh, layer and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker just like this all right now I will uh, select the liquify uh, layer in here and I will go to filter I'm gonna choose liquify all right now I'm gonna uh, freeze this part in here so we'll go and choose the freeze mask tool in here and I'm gonna try to freeze this part just like this all right and I will go and choose the forward warp tool I'm gonna make the head a little bit bigger All right, and I will press OK. All right, now, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna apply uh, a black layer mask again. So I'm gonna press Alt and one click to this layer mask. And as you can see, it will disappear also. I'm gonna change uh, the brush to, let's see. I can't remember exactly which brush I used for the first image. So it would be impossible to have the same result, but I'm gonna try to mimic it all right let's choose this one in here i'm gonna uh, rotate it again all right let's let's uh, uh double click to this layer mask and see uh, put down the de density okay let's make it a little bit bigger and just like that all right i will rotate it again and let's change the brush to this one in here let's 
rotate it a little bit and let's make it just like that all right let's see let's make uh, the layer mask 100 percent again and let's see what it looks like i don't like the the last uh, brush so i'm gonna redo and do that and i'm gonna try to make it in a better position maybe around here make it smaller alright I think it will look a little bit let's make it 100% again alright I think it looks a little bit okay now but now we'll go back to this layer mask and I'm gonna choose a regular brush and I'm gonna try to delete a little bit of this uh, on the face the eyes and the nose just a little bit all right I think it looks good but now I'm gonna uh, uh, make a, a text so we'll go and choose text and uh, the font I'm using is called Myriad Pro so I'm with uh, one click and uh, type smoke effect so i want the text it looks like it's coming from the smokes so we'll uh, make it a little bit bigger like this and i want it to be around here just like that all right So I'm gonna apply a layer mask to this text and I will choose brush, a smoke brush. Let's see. Let's go with this. Yeah, let's go with this one in here. And I'm gonna make it like that. Let's change the color of the text to let's make it to this gray color. all right let's go back to the brushes and this time i'm gonna make a new uh, file on top of this text in here and i'm gonna with the same color i will try to make this uh, smoke coming from this text like this yes let me change the, the color to this one and I'm gonna try to make it like that. Alright. And I will go back to this text. I'm gonna choose a regular brush. And I'm gonna delete a little bit from the text itself. Just to go with the, the smoke in here. a little bit I'm gonna make another smoke maybe this one coming from here and make the opacity a little bit down all right so now the the last thing that we're gonna do is to apply an exposure uh, adjustment to it so we'll go and choose exposure and I'm gonna adjust the offset in here just a little bit and the gamma correction just like this all right and there you go all right so i hope that you like and you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching